But what is the definition of innovation? So for me, an innovation definition is basically the embodiment of new knowledge in some tool, process, technology, something along those lines, right? So the key here, there's a couple of really important things when I say the embodiment of new knowledge within a tool, process, or a new technology, if you don't know. Um, so a couple of the important things is there's accumulation of some sort of knowledge. So everything with a new innovation, um, there or any particular technology per se is that there is accumulation of knowledge that happens over time it's slowly building up over time we're getting better we're understanding the world a little bit better as we accumulate knowledge in this particular area um, the other thing that's important with an innovation is that it is new. There's some sort of knowledge is differing to some degree. There is a uniqueness to some degree from the existing corpus of knowledge. So from what we currently know, and that's where an innovation differs from just basically technology, for example, and that it's slightly different from the existing knowledge, right? From the existing what we already know. And it's the reason why we do these sort of broad definitions is actually really difficult to sort of understand what a innovation is, what technology is. And this is the best thing that we kind of understand is that there's an embodiment of knowledge. So all that we learn and understand is embodied in some sort of tool, right? It could be, so for example, it could be a stick. If you think about it, if um, cave people from long, long time ago were using a particular stick, and for farming, that would be a technology, that would be an innovation. And the first time that they sort of discovered that and used it for a while, that would be an innovation. They would have came up with something new, that stick would have been something new. So even though it's a stick, and we think of it, ah, it's just a stick. Well, that is a that's a technology, and it it is also an innovation, particularly when it first emerges onto the market and it's something different than somebody else hasn't used before. Um, and what's other what what is key with a particular innovation i think is and particularly technological innovations is that it's used to solve some problem that we have right so we're always focused on there's it's always really problem solving focused right so if it wasn't necessarily all that problem solving focus it would be just a generation of knowledge and that's all we're talking about but here we always have some sort of problem in the marketplace and we're always trying to solve that particular problem with a technological innovation that solves that problem and it allows you to move on with accumulating more knowledge or understanding the world in a different way so now are there different types of innovation definitions you know it's is this the only innovation definition that we have well yeah there's I mean, there's lots of different types of innovation definitions. Well, first of all, just kind of just defining what an innovation is. There's lots of different types of innovations, for example. Um, and I can get into a couple of those. What are these different types of innovation? So, for example, one of them might be related to product innovation or one of them might actually be product innovation, right? So what is a product innovation? This is where you offer a new um, product to a customer some product or service to a new customer that is distinct enough that they believe that it is new. It's novel enough that they believe it's new. It's kind of really, uh, it's it's difficult to sort of define what it is, but it's usually perception from the audience or perception from somebody else that is paying attention to it. That is what a product innovation is. Um, and what a product innovation, some examples of a product innovation, for example, might be the Apple iPhone, right? Or a new table that's introduced, a new computer that's introduced, you know, new plastic bags. These are all things that are offered to the market, right? That's the important thing that's being offered to the market. It is the sort of last stage of producing something. If you're thinking of a particular company, for example, or um, if you're a company of one, you're like you're just an innovator, then, uh, then, then you're providing something to the market and they have to perceive that it's solving some sort of problem that uh, wasn't solved in the uh, past or couldn't be solved in the past without this particular technology, right? Um, the other thing is, or another type of innovation, another different type of innovation is a process innovation, right? So what is a process innovation and how does that relate to an innovation definition? Well, process innovation is uh, sort of the things to go into all of the new ways and new knowledge and new tools and processes that go into the back end of manufacturing a particular product or service, right? Um, that this is a process innovation might be things like 
improvements to a manufacturing plant, for example, improvements to a new manufacturing line, might be new quality control ways of thinking about things. So it might be, so for example, there was a, what's called total quality management a few years ago that was introduced. It might be new ways of delivering or delivery of a particular um, product to the market, right? So maybe it is, so for example, Amazon is introducing these drones right now, right? Ooh, these drones, those are really important. And that is a process innovation that's getting the product to the customer uh, much more quicker than what it'd be in the past. And there's all sorts of things that are emerging. Probably, actually, most money of innovation is actually occurring in the process side rather than on the product side because there's just a lot of things. There's lots of moving parts to get something into the marketplace, right? There's lots of different things that are going on. Um, innovation can also be defined in terms of how different it differs from the existing corpus or existing core technologies that are that are on the market right so you can also define an innovation definition might be how di different it is from currently the existing knowledge that's currently right there right so this is where you think about uh, incremental innovations ones that are just slightly different than the existing knowledge that's already out there right there's also radical innovations these are ones that are really different from that's already on the marketplace and ones that are sort of, and then there's also breakthrough innovations these are things that are really really different from things that are on the, the marketplace right that are just fundamentally different that change things fundamentally within the marketplace so a in, incremental innovation are things that don't require a lot of investment usually you can get things out within a year or two um, if you're a company, for example, you might be able to, it doesn't require a lot of new knowledge. It's just basically building up of what's already on the marketplace and you're just kind of making a tweak of some sort or a change of some sort. It's just a small change. It's a small incremental innovation. So examples might be a new model of a car. Sometimes we might think of what are generational product innovations. Um, they might be a new model of a car. It might be a new iPhone. It might be a new computer. It's just a different model of the existing knowledge that's already out there. Um, radical innovations are really fundamentally different. They take a lot of time. They might take five, six, seven years to get to the market. They take a lot of investment to get to the market before they actually start producing and they develop um, you know, actually something useful for somebody. It just takes a long time to develop. It requires substantially new knowledge, not from the producer, right? So the innovator, but also the audience has to sort of perceive that and understand it in a new way. So things might be, so for example, the um, uh, and, and, and sort of maybe a good definition of a radical innovation, one that is sort of so fundamentally uh, a, a radical innovation that's so fundamentally different would be, you know, a break breakthrough innovation, one that is really added to the marketplace is fMRI, you know, the ability to see sort of blood flow in a brain and stuff like that. That is fundamentally change the medical industry, for example, to be able to see functional uh, magnetic resonance imaging, be able to see somebody else, somebody's brain as they're thinking about things is fundamentally really cool stuff that we couldn't do before. I think it came out in the late 70s. And, um, you know, it's fundamentally changed how we do research, fundamentally do it changes how we do sort of um, hospital care, all sorts of things. There's a lot of radical innovation that ha happens in healthcare, for example. Um, like that, there's lots of radical innovation that happens in education, for example, might be the introduction of, you know, this, right? YouTube is, is definitely a radical innovation from my perspective because it is so fundamentally different than what we have in the past. Um, there also could be, you know, business model innovation. So it's another way of thinking about innovation, another type of innovation that you can think of, another innovation definition that you can sort of think of or an element of an innovation definition that you can think of. And a business model innovation is providing some new way of managing, new way of producing a product or service or a new way of uh, managing the process itself, right? So it's fundamentally different the way of managing things that we didn't have before, right? So the business model is fundamentally different. Um, this can be sort of considered a, a part of a broader class of or, uh, organizational innovations, for example, where there, you know, organizational innovations could be a lot of different things that happen within an organization. All sorts of new knowledge that's being added to the market and to an organization 
organization that wasn't there before. So for example, it might be adding some new routines that are played out in the innovation or in the organization, some new uh, management information system that's put out into the organization, all sorts of different things that happen. And, you know, part of that is the business model innovation where you provide something, a new business model that serves the market in, in a fundamentally different way that, that wasn't done before. So one of them, I think, for me, is for business model innovation that's currently happening right now is the sharing economy. This is fundamentally different than what we've had in the traditional economy where people are just giving things, right? So like this YouTube video, I'm a professor of innovation, strategy, and entrepreneurship, and I'm just giving of myself so that other people can find this helpful and useful, right? So just being giving and sharing and providing knowledge like this, this is fundamentally different. It is completely different than what's happening in the vast majority of the traditional economy. I truly believe in what's going on in the sharing economy. Um, I've researched it pretty substantially now, and I do see a substantial benefit with sharing and getting ideas out there like this, right? So this is really cool. Um, you know, for, for, for example, the traditional economy might be thinking more about the appropriation of knowledge or appropriation, some rents or some, some profits that are generated from knowledge. But this, as you give, what you're actually doing is diffusing your ideas a little bit more and it's growing your ideas and you're becoming much more of a central player in the marketplace by giving of yourself and that can grow the marketplace a lot more now what in terms of an innovation definition and all these different types of innovation so for example process innovation product innovation i was talking about um, break them um, in terms of the differences from the existing knowledge in incremental innovation breakthrough innovation as well as radical innovation um, and then getting into sort of other things like business process innovation, innovation. There's what's fundamental to all of these things and to, to sort of developing an innovation is actually creativity, right? So creativity is an essential element to any particular innovation. Creativity is the act of providing new and useful ideas. However, that might be defined. Um, it's generating ideas. There's lots of stuff that goes on to creativity, for example. Um, I teach a course on creativity and innovation. There's lots of different ways to sort of think about uh, um, generating new ideas and how they emerge and stuff like that. Um, but in, in general, what, what is important here when you think about something that is unique and different that's already on the market than what's already on the market, you have to come up with a new idea of what's already on the market. So you have to come up with some sort of creative idea um, that, that is going to add value to the existing business environment that you already have, right? So creativity can be applied to all these different innovations, product innovation, process innovation, all that kind of stuff, organizational innovation. Um, and it fundamentally improves in, in the idea, um, and I personally believe is solving some sort of problem and, and that creativity should be geared towards solving some sort of problem that you currently have. And if you can think of, you know, all those problems that we have, and there's so many, it's infinite, right? Uh, we have infinite number of problems to solve uh, because there's so much complexity in the world. And um, because of that, then, then you know, creativity is going to become more important as well as innovation is going to become more important in the economy as we move forward.